Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Jennifer, and who Thanks, are you? Thanks, Jeans. Who are you? Thanks, Jeans. Yeah, and that's Joseph. And I do apologize. Uh, I think my allergies are really flaring up, and I haven't started in on, on, on my allergy medication, and so I'm very congested here today. So we are going to be going to Walmart, Dollar Tree, Thanks. and I think we might stop in at Aldi. Thanks. I'm not doing really grocery shopping today. I'm just going to be doing Thanks. just all the household things that we need for our family. We are six living at home uh, right now. And so the things that we're needing is actually starting to kind of dwindle down a little by little all the time. Okay, so the congestion is like getting worse and my eyes are watering really bad now. All right, well, anyway, uh, we are heading in to make a return. So yesterday I told you that I got some clothes from Amazon and I wanted to do like kind of a try on thing for you guys. Well, there are two things that I'm not trying on for anybody. Um, I will link to them in the description box just in case you want to see so i did get a dress that's just like a cotton knit dress and it's sort of that like army olivey kind of green color uh and i i thought it was the same brand as a pink and white striped dress that i had gotten last year anyway it was not the same brand not the same cut and it just was very chintzy i also picked up sort of like this plaid dress that was like just kind of a long shirt dress and that was very stiff. I think I think if I was going into winter right now, I might actually keep it and wash it a couple times and see if I can soften it up. But since we're going into the summer, I just didn't want it. It ended up being flannel. I thought it was going to be more of a smooth cotton. So anyway, we're going to do that return. Okay, so Joe and I are in Dollar Tree right now. And this was something new that I saw. So $1, a single serving. I'm hoping that that's a good price. I'm going to have to, when I head over to Walmart, we're going to have to check this out. But I thought that these would be great. Um, I want to put together like just a little Easter bag, kind of like I did for Valentine's Day for my older kids. And I thought that they might like those as just a little, just something different. I also just spied down here on the bottom shelf. This seems like a great price for the Himalayan pink salt. This is the fine grain and it says product of Pakistan. I've never really looked into. I know that Amber for a while uh, wanted to use that. You know, I don't know if this is good quality, but I know it's a great, great price for a dollar. And this is actually the only thing I came into Dollar Tree for was their kosher salt. This is a great price at a dollar. And last time I was here, it was totally out. It looks like there's one more back there. I'm only gonna get one because I, it takes me a long time to go through this, but I am going to pick up this. I'm also looking at some of these other, um, this Longhorn Steakhouse Grill seasoning looks kind of good to me, so I think I'm going to try that one out as well. Okay. Stop. Oops, just going to let us go. Alright, so I found the mug treats here at Walmart. They're $2.36, but you know what I didn't notice? The ones at Dollar Tree, if there's only one pouch in there like one serving or if there's Five. two servings so if there's two servings in those then I got a, a good deal if there's only one then I, it was a total ripoff so it'll be interesting when I get home and do the full haul I will let you guys know about that I also was just down the aisle and I double checked at the Himalayan pink salt and they had the, the bags about a third of the size <clears throat> excuse me of what I saw at Dollar Tree and it was four dollars or over four dollars <laughs> so that would have been a, a huge huge deal it was the same brand and everything okay so Joe and I are out of Walmart now and I did check those mug desserts and at Dollar Tree it is only one for a dollar one envelope one serving so that was totally not a good price but because it was just a little over two dollars wasn't it like 235 or something in in Walmart so, okay, and that was for four servings. So anyway, I suppose I could return the ones to Dollar Tree, but I don't think Dollar Tree gives you cash back. They just give you credit, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so, I mean, I suppose I could just go and buy something else, but whatever, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Um, and I did wanna point out that when Joe and I were on our way from Dollar Tree to Walmart, we saw a vehicle, it was a Tahoe, and they had snow on their roof 
about a quarter inch all the way across the roof and then also in their wiper blades they had snow and they also had snow along like the edges of the windows on the outside and there is no snow I mean I don't know I mean look look outside there uh, can you see I mean there is not a single snow pile even in the Walmart parking lot where you know they have the all huge right. snow piles and it takes a little while for them to melt nothing so I don't know where they were coming from but I know I don't want to go there, that's for sure. All right, so Joe and I are going to get home, and then we'll lay everything out, show you everything that we got. So Joe and I are back home. We refueled ourselves with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and here we go. So I did pick up five of these packages. These are 68 cents a piece at Walmart, five of these for our main bathroom. I did get some of the Batiste. So last month I did try that Hask, and... Although Emily said that she really, really liked the Hask, I just, it just wasn't working that well for me. So I went back to Batiste. I got the Tropical because I thought, ooh, I was just kind of thinking like summer and beachy. <laughs> so I picked up that one and then some personal hygiene products. And then I did get the Puffs Plus with lotion. As you know, my allergies have really kicked in. So that is going to be nice for that. Some pull-ups and then I... I was getting low on these disinfectant wipes. We use these quite often just for wiping down the bathroom for giving it a quick wipe. And then also like around the toilet and stuff like that. They're really nice for that. And then I did pick up Tide Sport. That all was from Walmart so far. And then from Dollar Tree, I picked up two of these little candles. And I thought that I would put these in some little Easter bags that I'm putting together. And then uh, a number of you have mentioned to me that these dishwasher cleaner tabs are supposed to be really, really helpful. So I thought that I would give these a try. There were so many different brands, I didn't even know. This one, I think our dishwasher is a Maytag. I'd have to look, but this said Maytag. So that was why I got it. Um, and someone had mentioned to me maybe the first time to do two of these. So I thought I would give that a try just to see if I could try to get our dishwasher. It has been working better as long as we just don't overfill it. We used to be able to really load it up and it seemed to get most of the time clean. But anyway, okay, so some Cascade. I was always using just like the Equate or whatever it is. No, Great Value, sorry. The Great Value from Walmart, but I have been trying the Cascade the last couple times. I think it's helping, but again, it's whenever we overstuff the dishwasher or, and I, I shouldn't even say overstuff, when we just fill it full, like full, full, I feel like it still doesn't get all the way clean. You kind of have to almost slightly underfill it. All right, I did pick up a couple food items that I'm not going to be uh, putting into my like big once a month grocery shopping trip, which is going to be tomorrow, but I'll show this stuff to you today. I did pick up some olives. I want to check dry weight, six ounces. Hmm, I don't know if that's how all olives go by, but anyway, I wanted to see what the olives were priced at Aldi. I just couldn't remember. And so I picked up one can here just to try those. And then I did get this Longhorn Steakhouse Grill seasoning and some sweet pickle relish. I was going to check the price of that at Walmart and I forgot. This was obviously a dollar for 11 and a half ounces. I'll have to check their website and see what Walmart says they charge for that. Kosher salt, you know, this was the only thing I went in to get. <laughs> so I guess you could say this cost me $20.22. I did get two of these uh, wishbone Italian dressings because I really like to marinate our um, our venison steak in Italian dressing. And a lot of times I'll get those zesty Italian packets, uh, but those are actually more expensive than just, you know, using one of these, which this is the amount I would need for one time for marinating. So I just got two of those to try because, as they say, zesty robusto. So I thought these would be flavored similarly to the Good Seasons dry powder. And then here we go. This was such a disappointment. I'm still toying with the fact if I'm going to return these and just take the credit. But I guess, you know, the only thing that's making me want to keep these is that they're just individual. And so it still looks like a nice little thing to tuck into a gift bag. Whereas if I got the ones from Walmart, which were less expensive, There'd be four servings in there, and to just kind of pop one in, you'd have to open up the box and just pop in the, like the pouch, and that just doesn't look quite as cute. So I talk myself now <laughs> out of returning them. I'm going to keep these. 
and uh, I do look forward to giving those to the kids. Okay, and then I did pick up three of these towels. These are going to be, again, for the little Easter um, bags that I'm putting together, so squeeze the day. thought those were cute. And who doesn't like just a little fresh kitchen towel? And then this is for Colt, and this was only $4.88, and Joe, he really liked this one, so he wanted to get this for Colt. Back to Dollar Tree, I did pick up one of these little silverware trays. I do have some big um, plans. I shouldn't say big. They're actually just small plans for organizing some small areas in our home, some places that just need a little bit of TLC. And so I picked up a few things here today. This is one of those shoe organizers. And then here are some drawer organizers. And then I'll have some more drawer organizers. So those things you will actually all see in another video. If you like organizing style videos, uh, you're going to want to subscribe and hit that bell so that you can be notified when that video comes out. I'm hoping in about a week or so. So there we go. That is everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I'll put a couple other videos up for those of you who love the household hauls, and you can watch those as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.